Hello and welcome to LARPRIDE. No intro again today because I forgot to film it before I gave the she's to the friend I made it for. So let's get right in. This is a piece of PVC floor I found in my cellar when cleaning up and it makes for a pretty good material to make sword or knife sheath for. It's reasonably flexible yet also reasonable tough, cheap and you can form it with a hot air gun. So here I started forming it, making it plain with the hot air gun and then squaring it off and measuring how big it must be to contain the knife, the long knife and cut it to shape, especially here at the tip, round it off a bit. Found this method of construction online on a lab Facebook group, but there was no instruction for it, so I had to guess how to actually do this. But I think I made a fairly good guess. I'm happy with how this turned out. I will glue some fabric on the inside of this and therefore I'm roughening up the PVC surface and I'm using my Couple Flix Shoemaker's glue just because I have it lying around all the time because I make weapons for this stuff. It's very good glue. And I don't wait for it to dry and make sure that my fabric here is nice and even. No wrinkles and just cut it to shape. This is some kind of polyester fabric I had lying around. Ideally you want something that is soft to the touch, like a satin or something. Now that is glued in place, it's time to get the sheath in form and because I don't want to put a hot air gun at my latex weapon here, I'm using a piece of wood that is roughly the right shape to form the sheath. And with the hot air gun it's easy enough. Then weigh it down, let it cool, let it dry overnight. Now let's get the leather. This is pretty thin white upholstery leather I got for the round shield. So this is just leftover leather. It's still more than enough to make a leather sheath on. I cut it to shape roughly. Put my glue on, on uh, the rough side of the leather. And I had to pre-form this so I could roll the leather around. If I had just made it flat, it wouldn't form really well. And it was not easy getting it without wrinkles and uniformly and basically to fit it really well so I had to try a few times but because the glue was still wet no problem once again weigh it down let it dry overnight I'm using these D-rings to hang the sheath from And to fasten these, I'm cutting some leather strips from like 2 mm thick leather. That is also leftovers from some other project. Make it long enough to go around once.
And I will use hollow rivets to fasten these to the leather. And really at this point I should take into account that the sheath will be curved. But I didn't, so I will have to rip out one of the rivets later and leave enough room for the leather to curve around the outside of the sheath, take the long way around and be plain on the leather without any wrinkles. So save yourself the trouble, take into account that you have to go around a curve. Just using hole punch, hammer, very small anvil I found while cleaning up my cellar as well. Just silver hollow rivets. Pretty basic stuff actually. And now I'm cutting the leather to its final shape to match the fabric and the PVC floor. And now I find out I put the holes in the wrong place because I didn't take into account the curve. So I rip one rivet out, make a new hole and put a new rivet in there. I make these mistakes so you don't have to. Now I'm using my leather sewing machine to sew the sheath shut. But you can of course also sew it by hand. It shouldn't take more than one episode of Star Trek or something. But I wanted this finished quickly. I have a leather sewing machine. So this took like 5 minutes, 10 minutes tops. Secure the thread, cut it off, and sewing is done. Now I'm riveting the leather strips shut. If you are sewing by hand, you could also sew these on, but this wouldn't fit into my sewing machine. So I have to use hollow rivets, just use my punching pliers, put a few holes in there, rivets, hammer down, done. Now I'm cutting the sheath to its final shape so it looks nice. And I put a little bit of metal onto the mouth of the sheath here. Wanted to use some steel I had lying around, but I put the leather strip too far at the end. So I ended up using a thinner piece of aluminum. And I'm just using a pair of pliers and this is wood to form it. And after that I'm rounding off the edges so there are no more sharp edges and pointy corners. I'm roughening up the inside because I want to glue this to the leather. And I figured out I can't use the wood 
to spread out the sheath from the inside, nor can I use the sword because it's of course soft. So I did a lot of forming around the wood and some leather around the wood and used two pliers until I achieved finally a form I was happy with and now it's time to glue it on. Ideally after gluing it on you would polish it up to a mirror shine but I ain't got no polishing wheel so it would take a really long time to do it by hand but I know for a fact that my friend's husband I gave the saw to has a polishing wheel so if you're listening you should really polish this to a mirror like shine and because this is aluminum you should also seal it with some clear lacquer. Finally I stuffed some fabric into the mouse to keep it in form while the glue sets overnight. Now I'm using a metal drill, I think 3.5 millimeters diameter. A center punch to mark where I want to drill and make a hole to put a hollow rivet through there to really fasten this metal strip shut. And basically that finishes the sheath. Now you want to have some silicone spray or better yet talcum powder on your blade in your sheath so there's no chance of the blade getting stuck in the sheath and ideally don't store the blade in the sheath between conventions only have it there if you are on convention a few days won't hurt but don't store it for month on end in the sheath it might get stuck in there so, this finishes the build. That's it for today. Thanks and goodbye.